Russell and I'm a growling grass frog. <laughs> That's Latoria raniformis for those who like Latin names. And as you may have noticed, I'm bigger than your average frog. <laughs> and my friends like to call me Big Russ. <laughs> and you can call me Big Russ too. So, great to be here. Uh, yes, so I'm a big frog. And I have a deep and growly call because the relationship is very clear. The bigger the frog, the lower the call. Um, would any of you like to hear my advertisement call? Okay. I guess that's yes. All right, here we go. So as well as being a big frog, I'm a frog with an edgy urban attitude because I come from the big city of Melbourne, Australia. So uh, has anyone here been to Melbourne? Population? Whoa, lots of people have been to Melbourne, so you all know that it's the ultimate hipster city. So we've got lattes and laneways, we've got baristas and bike riders, we've got foodies and festivals, and Melbourne is also an official UNESCO city of literature. So take that, Sydney. <laughs> anyway, so you may also know that cities are hubs of creativity and I like to tap into that creativity and compose my own songs and poems to reflect my lived experience as a frog, <laughs> as a lover, as a, <laughs> as a father and as an artiste. <laughs> and I'd like to share one of those songs with you now. I just have to tune up because even frogs have to tune up and start in the right key. So give me a moment here. Okay. <laughs> I am a frog, a growling, growling grass frog. I live in ponds and slowly flowing streams. <laughs> that all the ladies hold in high esteem. <laughs> but now my habitat is changing rapidly. <laughs> traffic noise is making it very difficult for female growling grass frogs to hear my low growly call across the urban landscape. And some fancy scientific folks call this acoustic interference. <laughs> but whatever you call it, it's seriously cramping my style. <laughs> 
and reduced my pull factor. <laughs> this story actually hit uh, the international press in 2009 with headlines such as traffic noise could be ruining the sex lives of frogs. <laughs> And in my case, there's no could be about it. <laughs> but let me tell you about my cousin Ezekiel. <laughs> Ezekiel is just a little fella. And because he's small, he's got a high-pitched call that sounds something like this. <laughs> And we call him Zika the Squeaker. <laughs> However, lately, Zika has been getting very lucky with the ladies because they can hear his high-pitched squeaky call over the traffic noise when they can't hear mine. So where's the justice? <laughs> if this keeps up, future generations of growling grass frogs won't be blessed with big individuals like me, but with little guys like Zika. Anyway, I think I mentioned earlier that I also like to write poetry. <laughs> and uh, here's a haiku I composed <laughs> while visiting my friend, uh, my friend Lukey, who lives in the Fitzroy Gardens in the centre of Melbourne, just near the MCG. Has anyone been to the MCG, seen the cricket, the football? Okay, a couple of you. Anyway, so here we go. Frog in city pond. Traffic humming, football roar. Frog calling, croak, croak. The traffic noise is not the only problem with roads in the urban landscape. Try going to visit Auntie Beryl by crossing a six lane freeway and not be run over by a bogan driving a V8 Commodore. <laughs> okay, so Melbourne has bogans as well as hipsters. It's the yin and the yang, they balance each other out. My granddad, uh, Big Bruce, loves to tell the story about how he and his sister Betty could visit friends and relatives at ponds for miles around just by hopping in a straight line from point A to point B. Now I have to take a very indirect route when I go anywhere these days. In fact, it was quite a challenge getting here for this uh, science science evening. The trip in the taxi was okay, but I don't think they've seen a frog in Eddie had business class before. So uh, that brings me to my last beef of the evening, houses. Houses, houses, large houses. Don't get me started on McMansions with five bedrooms, five bathrooms, a triple garage and a jacuzzi being built right on top of beautiful habitats for frogs like me. And we're listed as an endangered species. <laughs> so like many a sensitive artiste before me, I've taken my sorrow, my rage against the system, and my concern for future generations and channeled it into my creative pursuits. And so I'd like to just share one more song with you this evening, and perhaps you might like to join in the last verse if you kind of warmed up, but I'll get things started. Firstly, I'll just tune up again with the correct tune. When I needed a frog pond, was it there, was it there? When I needed a frog pond, was it there? And the plants and the water and the depth, all matter, was it there? When I needed some quiet, was it there, was it there? When I needed some quiet, was it there? And the cars and the trucks and the noise, all matter, was it there? 
When I needed free movement, was it there, was it there? When I needed free movement, was it there? And the roads and the rail yards and the fences matter, was it there? Okay, I'm going to bring it into the present tense now and I'll sing this last verse then you can join in, okay? Everyone ready? <laughs> Now I'm needing a frog pond, is it there, is it there? I am needing a frog pond, is it there? And the plants and the water and the depth, all matter, was it there? Okay, all together. Now I'm needing a frog pond, is it there, is it there? Now I'm needing a frog pond, is it there? And uh, the, the, the bit at the end, I'm sure someone walked in late and just thought, this is the weirdest karaoke I've ever been to. What is going on? Some kind of, I just, I love the fact we've got a frog holding a smartphone. It's that beautiful <laughs> juxtaposition of nature and technology together, which is, which is really good. Some of the stuff there, I think, because the, people were laughing, but also people were kind of going, oh, it was like, like really hitting home to people. So in terms of a sob story, you've got to be thinking about the X Factor. <laughs> Because you've got it all, haven't you? You've got it all. So my first question would be, how are you going to get a taxi home to your hotel dressed like that? Uh, <laughs> but seriously, has anyone got any questions for Kirsten about yeah. the issues raised? Yes, question over there. The frogs have dialects. The frogs have dialects? Yes. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Um, but they're not as pronounced as dialects in birds. <laughs> sort of answers one question and asks about 50 others, doesn't it? Bird, bird dialects. I've been out with a few birds with weird dialects, but uh, I've also been out with a couple of frogs as well, but never mind, enough about my personal failings. Um, so, because you were talking about the traffic obviously interrupting and interfering with the, the mating call, you called it an advertising advertisement call, is that what you call it? Yeah, advertisement call. Advertisement call, mm -hmm. yeah because it's the call the male frog makes when he's advertising to the ladies, saying, come over here and mate with me. It just sounds amazing. It sounds like if you applied like actual marketing techniques to your <laughs> ma mating rituals, you know, at the end, you've got to have a disclaimer. Warning, may cause syphilis. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. I just thought that was such a beautiful turn of phrase to, to the layman's mate. Um, so you talk about frogs need silence to be able to to mate, my, my instant thought was, time to come to one of my gigs, there'll be loads of that. <laughs> but uh, what, what, can, what can be done to help? It's a multifaceted problem. <laughs> uh, can you put it into one quick soundbite for us? <laughs> <laughs> well, we could protect frogs and other non-human animals from noise, the way we protect people building sound barriers to protect natural habitats, which at the moment we don't do. That's probably a bit long for your sound bite. No, that's pretty good, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. And we can stop building houses on top of habitats for threatened species. Yeah. 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 Yeah.